quiet street in Cock County was flooded with law enforcement yesterday after a man was shot and killed and left lying in the road. The suspect, who happens to be the victim's neighbor, ran off and led officers on a 16-hour manhunt. But this morning, he was finally caught. WAT6 on your side reporter Molly O'Brien spoke with officers about this long overnight search. And here's from the woman who found the startling scene and called 911. The man at the center of his 16-hour manhunt is now behind bars, according to the Cock County Sheriff's Office. This all started Sunday just before noon when police responded to a shooting on Basinger Road near Parrotsville. Verdina Wine was leaving church when she said she saw a man on the ground. He had no pulse and ain't nothing we could do after somebody, you know, is gone. So I just pray for the family. The victim, identified as Mark Burnham, was dead when officers arrived. David Moore, Burnham's neighbor, was identified as a suspect. The wife crying that she can't live without him. And um, she kept on pointing to he did it. He did it across the street. Cock County Sheriff C.J. Ball says several law enforcement agencies responded to the scene. An intel from a witness that was on scene that he was actually inside the home with a weapon. SWAT eventually entering the home, unable to locate more. Please learning he fled the scene prior to officers arriving. This morning, law enforcement spotted more in White Pine near the Jefferson and Cock County line. Multiple agencies got involved in that, and uh, during the meantime of that, they actually lost that on one of the back roads. A short time later, though, Moore's car was spotted again. One of our undercover narcotics agents happened to see the vehicle description that we were looking for, and the uh, pursuit started. And uh, it ended up all the way down off Point Pleasant Road at Emanuel Road where uh, the deputies were in pursuit and he actually uh, lost control and ran off into a ditch and, and came to a stop. Sheriff Ball says that Moore has a long history with law enforcement. Big blessing for us plus the community you know, to make sure somebody this dangerous is, is in custody and he's off the streets. In Cock County, Molly O'Brien, WATE 6 on your side. Now, we are told Moore will face several charges, including first-degree murder. We will be following this case as it makes its way through the court system.